Yes. Let us come back and learn the color property of D block elements. With this color property, your D block will be done. And we'll be starting with the lanthanides and actinides, that is your F block element. So, whenever I speak about color property, the most important keyword which we have to remember is wherever it is, whenever you're speaking in F block also. In F, if you're speaking, you have to speak in terms of FF transition. Here, you're going to speak in terms of DD transition. Yes. So, most important two keywords which you have to remember in color property is why does a particular metal ion exhibit color if they ask you this first keyword is due to dd transition we'll see what is dd transition now in a few minutes now after that why is it showing dd transition because of the presence of unpaired electrons this is important and if they're paired a concept of color only would not exist with unpaired electrons now so color property basically in d block elements as i said <clears throat> the electron enters into the n minus 1 d subshell yes every time now when it is entering now basically when i have to speak about d now i said okay n minus 1 d subshell and then is your ns correct now whenever I, your electron is trying to enter here it's two right so your d orbitals we have or these d orbitals what do they have we they have a five it has like this isn't it one two three four one two three four five now the first three are called t2g set and the next two are called eg set t2g stands for triplet triplet degenerate set and EG stands for doublet degenerate set. Degenerate set. Now, what is this degenerate? Degenerate is something which are of all equal energy. The whole, all the five are of equal energy. Now, what happens when this particular thing is exposed to light and photon is exposed to that? This is going to break up into two sets. One is T2G set at the base and EG set above. Now, here when I said unpaid electron, correct? <clears throat> this unpaid now and the energy difference between T2G and EG is very less. Yes. So, when a photon of light is exposed on this, the electron is going to excite. Suppose if it is like this, right? One electron from here goes to the excited state of EG. And during this process, as I said, the energy difference is very less. Once it gets excited, it's going to absorb a light of frequency from which spectrum? From visible spectrum. So, according to that frequency, it's going to absorb light for that particular, uh, whichever metal atom, that particular frequency, once it absorbs color or light, or that particular frequency, it's going to show different colors. Now, let us come back and see. When I have scandium, in scandium, it doesn't have three, uh, uh, electron isn't it, 3D, because it has already lost, what is the configuration? 3D1, 4 is 2. It has already lost all the electrons. No electron can excite, so it is colorless. Now, based on the number of unpaid electron, each metal atom is going to show different colors just see different colors yeah here 3d7 <coughs> number of unpaid electrons are 3 so it's going pink in color if i have to come to zinc again 3d10 4 is 2 there are no unpaid electrons all are paid because all are paid the number of unpaid electrons is zero and it is colorless so most important thing is the excitation of electrons from 3 t2g to eg set this transition from t2g to eg is called dd transition and based on this dd transition it's going to show color so simple i have given you whenever they ask you why is this colored why is that not colored simple take the configuration write the number of unpaired electrons and say because of the presence of number of unpaired electron it goes from the ground state to the excited state every time it is octahedral complexes isn't it they form octahedral octahedral it is t2g eg right so you can start this this concept one and two second concept show them what is this t2g and eg done after that whichever example is given take that example Take the configuration, show how many are there, see how many are going to the excited state and write that particular color. Yes, so color also will be given. So this is your concept for color property. Please note everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Very important.